Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So it's time for another ankle bracelet and this one is a much sort of daintier than the other one. So here is the the one with the bite with the um, bugle beads and you know so the interlace ruffles um, version of it. But this one is just a little more dainty and a little you know just very very sweet. You can actually even make a little collar necklace out of this but you want to make sure that the length is just a collar because you know it's a flat. It's flat so you want to make sure it's going to lay nicely. But I'm going to make it as a as an ankle bracelet and I do have a magnetic clasp on this again. Um, I did find one that's pretty good and we'll talk about that as we go along. All right so I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going and we're going to get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please ring that bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thanks so much. Okay let's get the materials going. So two colors of 11 o seed beads. You want to you know more of one color so mine is of course more of the silver. This is the one we're going to work on today. And then you'll need some 3.4 millimeter Miyuki drops, some 3 millimeter bicones, a clasp, and I've got this magnetic one going again. You know I'm going to find one that works really well. This was pretty good. Stop bead. This size 10 beading needle. These are kind of cool. They're called, they're by Beadsmith and they're color eyes needles. And they are, they are identified by their color. So the black is a 10, the teal is a an 11 and the red is a 12. Um, Where did I get these? I got these at Potomac Beads and you know I just thought it was kind of cool so I thought I'd try them out. Um, some I have some six pound fire line here. Eight pound is fine as well. I use the black satin. Um, let's see is that everything? Yeah that's everything so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started. Don't forget to check the description box below the video for all sizes, shapes, colors, amounts. All the materials will be listed there. Places you can purchase the materials if you if you like. Um, so really important. Anything I forget goes down there. So don't forget to click that down arrow to show more. Box will open. You know the drill. All right. Um, I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with a comfortable amount of thread, three or four feet. If you can do more, you can do more, you know put more on. Um, I will always link the adding thread video under the description box under every video so you can you know can take a look at that. Put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in or enough of a tail to sew your clasp on. So I've picked up four of my silver beads. And I've dropped those down to my stop bead. I'm going to sew up through the first two. Just going to make that into a unit. And I'm just going to turn my unit so that my working thread is coming out of the bottom seed bead and my tail thread is coming out on this side. I'm going to pick up a silver seed bead, a drop, and four silvers. Now when I pick up my drops, I am choosing the drops that are the most narrow at the top. Like see how narrow that is? Whereas there are some that are just so wide that you know they're going to take up too much space. So try and just call your beads a little bit, your drops, and make sure that you're picking up the ones that are most narrow at the top. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. Just going to gently pull it this way. I'm going to skip this 11 -0, drop 11 -0, and I'm going to sew through the next one. So here I'll put my needle here so you can see which one I'm sewing through. Okay, We'll do it a few times. Give that a little pull and I come up with this sort of like V-shaped little unit with the drop right there. Alright, I'm just going to let you get to that point and then we'll continue. So pick up your blue or whatever color you're using and three of your silver. Exiting here, it's going to sew through this one. Going to pull a little bit. I'm going to skip the blue one and just sew through the next silver. So I'm going, you know, relatively slow for those of you who haven't done this before. Okay. So you know what, just get to that point. We'll do it step by step. Get to that point and we'll continue. Okay. So here we are. So I'm going to pick up a blue and three silver. And do what we just did 
before. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. Little pull in this direction. Skip the blue, sew through the silver after the blue. Like that. Okay. Okay, pick up a silver, one of your drops, and oops, that little magnetic clasp is sticking. Okay. So a silver, one of your drops, and four silvers. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to pull in this direction a little. I'm going to skip this 11 -0, drop 11 -0. I'm going to sew through this one. So these three I'm skipping. I'm going to sew through this one. I have another one of those sort of V-shaped units on. Okay, get that done, and then we'll put, pull it all, put it all together. Okay, so pick up a blue and three of the silver. Exiting here, sew through this one. Skip the blue, sew through the next silver. Pick up a blue and three silvers, exiting here, so through this one. Give it a little pull on this direction, so through the, skip the blue, so through the next silver. So I'm just putting all the, you know, everything together. So we're going to pick up a silver, and I'm looking for my skinny drops. Silver, drop, silver, four silvers, two, three, four. So silver, drop, and then four silvers. Exiting here, so through this one. Give it a little pull. Skipping this silver, drop, silver, and sewing through this silver right here. You want to make sure you don't have too much thread showing. You can kind of give it a little pull. You don't have to pull super tight. We're going to be putting bicones along the top, so you'll need space for those. But you just make sure that not too much thread is showing, or as little as possible. How about that? All right. Pick up a blue, three silvers, exiting here. So through this one. Skip the blue, sew through the next silver. Pick up a blue, three silvers, exiting here, the silver, sew through this one. Skip the blue, sew through the next silver. Pick up a silver, <laughs> okay that's a good magnet so I'm going to put that aside, <laughs> a silver, a drop and four silvers, exiting this one, so through this one, Get a little pull in this direction. Going to skip the silver, drop silver, and sew through the next silver. Gonna pull. This is what it looks like. So you're going to do all the way down till you have the length of your bracelet minus whatever clasp you're putting on. And then when we come back, we'll add the clasp and we'll add all the bicones or whatever you're putting in between and the other end and you'll have a cute little ankle bracelet or a little maybe delicate necklace. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So I finished my length 
and now I'm going to add one end of the clasp. Or I'm just going to keep the clasp together because it's magnetic, so we'll just do this. So this is a 10 millimeter clasp, and it's tiny because it's 10 millimeter from ring to ring. So she's a mini, but it's um, it's pretty strong. So 11 0 there you go, <laughs> clasp. It's going to fight me, but that's okay. We'll get it on. 11 0 clasp, 11 0. I'm going to sew through this one. Now I'm going to go around this unit. So I'm just going to pull that out of the way for a second. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew around this unit. One, two, three, and then back up these. So this one, this one. You see my thread path there? This one, and then this one. So when I pull it, see how it um, attaches it? Back through the ring on the clasp. Like that. And then back through these three. Like that. Okay, and then you want to go around again. I kind of push my ring in between the beads so the beads are really holding that ring in place, not the thread isn't kind of hanging out. See that? You see how the ring is stuck in between the beads? So go around and reinforce and come out the same bead right here and we'll continue. Okay, it's time to embellish. So here I'm exiting this bead right here. I'm just going to alternate bicones and 11 O's. So I'm going to start with a bicone. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through the next 11 O. Like that. And I'm going to pick up an 11 O. I'm going to sew through the next 11 O. Bicone through the next. Ouch. 11 O. 11 O. Through the next 11 0. Icon. 11 0. So you can switch that bicone out um, and use an 8 0 or something else that will fit in the space of a bicone. Like that. I just think this little bicone is so pretty. And you're just going to do that all the way down to the end, and then you're going to put your other end of the clasp on, and then come on back, and we'll finish it up. Okay, all done. That was a lot of fun. I'm rhyming now. Um, it makes a beautiful little ankle bracelet. I love it. And if you are making a little dainty necklace, make sure it's a collar because, you know, it's flat, so it's going to lay flat against your neck. So if it's too long, it's just going to flop over. Um, However, it, I think it's worth a try. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to wear my blue one today. <laughs> All right, so take care, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.